Marilyn Monroe once famously said, dogs never bite me. Just humans. Clearly, she never owned a husky puppy. As a pet parent to two huskies, I have been in the same boat as you and can safely say, it will get better if you just hang in there. I am about to spill some beans on some of the best techniques to teach your husky puppy not to bite. There are several ways to tackle puppy biting. Every husky may respond to a different technique depending on what motivates them. 1. Redirection Redirection simply means distracting a puppy from biting the human hand by involving something else that the puppy can bite on. This could be a toy, an edible chew, or anything else that the puppy loves to chew on. It is impractical to expect your husky puppy to completely stop biting. Redirection is one of the best ways to tackle this behavior as it allows your dog to still engage in the behavior on a desirable outlet. 2. Teach Bite Inhibition Bite inhibition simply means teaching a pup to control bite pressure so that it doesn't break human skin. Bite inhibition also teaches dogs to apply gentle corrections as they age. Example, if a kid accidentally steps on a dog's tail, a dog with no bite inhibition may end up biting and bruising the kid badly. However, a dog that knows bite inhibition may only quickly snap or gently give a bite correction to the kid without bruising. 3. Provide ample outlets. Chewing and biting is every puppy's inherent need. Providing ample outlets will make sure that your puppy's needs are being fulfilled. Desirable outlets include toys with a variety of surfaces such as rope toys, wood toys, rubber chews, cloth toys and canine-friendly plastic toys. Edible chews like bully sticks, yak milk chews, etc. also count as excellent outlets that are also long-lasting. These outlets help tire out your husky puppy's jaw while enabling them to sink their teeth onto something apart from human skin. 4. Ensure adequate amounts of exercise. Huskies were bred primarily because of their ability to run and sled tirelessly, several miles in the snow. They need intense amounts of exercise to be able to thrive in a family environment. Without it, they may become bored, depressed and frustrated and may want to harness their energies in undesirable activities like destructive chewing and excessive biting and nipping. Make sure to provide your husky pup with ample amounts of outdoor exercises and indoor mental stimulation activities. 5. Know the worst times of the day and prepare accordingly. Puppies are likely to bite the most when they're physically active and in a playful state of mind. Now, husky puppies sleep over 10 hours a day and tend to be at their most active selves early in the morning and in the evening. This is when the biting will be at its worst. Knowing your husky puppy's most active times of the day will prepare you and equip you to deal with the behavior much better. 6. Enable healthy socialization with well-trained dogs. Dog-to-dog -dog socialization is an important aspect of a puppy's life. However, Choosing the right dogs to socialize with is equally important. Make sure your husky puppy socializes with dogs who are capable of giving gentle bite corrections when your puppy goes overboard with the bite fest. This will help your puppy learn bite inhibition much faster. Dogs learn best from other dogs, for obvious reasons. 7. Use the leash as a way to communicate. A leash is one of the most underrated training tools. Apart from being a walking tool, it is also an excellent tool to establish control and communicate with your puppy indoors. Involving your hands to physically correct your nippy puppy will only put you at risk of being bitten even more. Use the leash to create distance and curb hyperactivity. 8. Positive reinforcement is key. Yelling out or stop does work in terms of startling your puppy enough to let go of your arm. But once your puppy loosens his jaw grip, the most important thing to do is heavily reward your pup with verbal praise. This is an essential aspect of positive reinforcement training. Correction must always be followed up with positive reinforcement. This will help your husky learn desirable behaviors that get him rewarded. 9. Time out, if nothing works. 
Timeout is a form of training technique that attempts to change puppy behavior by isolating them immediately after the unwanted behavior occurs. Examples of timeout would be tethering your husky puppy to something away from everybody or isolating them in a pen or a small room with no toys or food for a few minutes. This may help your puppy calm down faster and also teach them that the result of biting isn't always fun. Your husky pup is only doing what comes most naturally to him. Look at puppy biting as a non-skippable phase of your puppy's life and not just an undesirable behavior. Work with your dog, not against him. There is no quick fix to puppy biting. Patience and consistency with husky training are key. For more information, read our blog article. How often does your husky puppy bite? Let us know in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the like button. Also, make sure to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon.